And now I would like to present Noam Chomsky. The uh, most recent article of Nasir's that uh, I've seen, I hope this surprises him, uh, was a few weeks ago, uh, a, uh, uh, an article in, uh, which I read as being um, sort of a, an account of work in progress uh, and uh, an outline of future projects to be undertaken. Uh, which are of uh, immense significance. Uh, in the article, uh, Nasir began with a typically incisive analysis of the uh, current last, the Oslo process of the last couple of years, uh, explaining lucidly, uh, expanding on things he's written before, which unfortunately not enough people paid attention to, uh, of how the built-in properties of it uh, were almost with the logical necessity uh, going to lead to very ugly outcomes uh, which have been happening ever since and are now more and more apparent. Uh, but then he went on uh, and the bulk of the article was devoted to something else, namely constructive alternatives. Uh, these constructive alternatives, uh, uh, well, for what it's worth, I think, uh, I think both I think are right on track. In fact, I've always thought so. Uh, this is the moment when I could give a speech, but I'm not going to, so don't worry about it, uh, some other time. But I think that the account is exactly right, uh, that uh, what has to be done is to uh, dismantle the, uh, uh, the set of ideas which uh, were formulated as a totally inconceivable uh, two-state settlement which would have been a rotten outcome for everybody and was never going to happen anyway because of the balance of forces in the international situation. And to recognize that a settlement has to be based on uh, ideas uh, which in fact of uh, coexistence and justice and equality and democracy and interaction actually throughout the region, not only in the former Palestine. Uh, ideas which actually, as Nasir points out, have deep roots, uh, often forgotten, but quite real, uh, in the separate traditions of the conflicting parties, uh, and in fact are, are even more deeply rooted uh, in the principles to which uh, almost everyone pays at least lip service, uh, namely the ones uh, articulated and codified in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, uh, which remains a very distant goal uh, even as we uh, approach its uh, 50th anniversary uh, in a few months, uh, you might, one might argue maybe even a receding goal in any event, certainly distant. Well, all of these are causes to which uh, Nasir has dedicated himself for many years and made highly valued contributions to. Uh, the uh, rewards of uh, retirement are sure to be great uh, for Nasir, his family, and many others. Uh, not the least of these rewards, I expect with confidence, will be the opportunity that he is now afforded to dedicate himself even more fully uh, and more energetically and uh, to, these, uh, uh, to these goals, to turning them into a, uh, helping bring them closer to reality. Uh, that's a prospect that I personally look forward to uh, seeing develop and participating in as I can over the years. Uh, and uh, all I can say is that I wish him and his family the greatest pleasure and success in the wonderful years that I'm sure lie ahead. Thanks.